Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Jacobs. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm an inventor of Aster Specialty. I'm also a cancer survival and I used to suffer from chronic migraines, headache, pain and fatigue before I invented Aster Specialty. Right, Mike, tell me what's going on with your elbows. What happened? Uh, I've got uh, quite a bit of pain on the uh, on the inner tendons on, on both of my inner elbows, mm -hmm. pretty much from overuse injuries, mm -hmm. um, from training uh, police dogs, pulling mm -hmm. on the leashes, and, and probably actually taking bites with equipment on, but the pressure mm -hmm. here so uh, I does see cause like swelling, absolutely. Um, as yeah. well as just constantly doing uh, jujitsu, which is very grip heavy, wrestling, pushing, uh -huh. pulling, and lifting weights almost every day. Um, just super grip heavy, and it's just caused a lot of inflammation, I think, over time. I probably haven't done proper stretching. I probably have an imbalance on this side, is, is my guess. But So most of your motion is just pulling. Yeah, it's a more than constantly pushing. gripping super hard. Gripping. Yeah. So, so uh, how long has this been going on, and what kind of treatment have you had for this? Uh, it's been going on, uh, it's been bad since mm -hmm. basically about uh, December or January uh, of, of this Last year. year. Yeah, either January of this year or maybe December, it might have started December. Uh, so we are in July year. now, so, yeah, it's, so about it's been almost six months. Six months, yeah. yeah, yeah. So what kind of treatment you had for that? Um, I Nothing but just trying to stretch. Mm -hmm. And uh, try to open it up any way I can at home. A little mm -hmm. bit of massage at home, rolling it on so a lacrosse massages. ball, okay. that kind of stuff. Did um, you have any injections or anything? I did have a cortisone shot, one mm -hmm. cortisone shot in each elbow. In each elbow. And that was approximately, off the top of my head, probably about uh, two months. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it did feel better for two weeks, maybe three weeks tops. Mm -hmm. um, but the pain the obviously pain came right came back. back. Yeah. Um, so. How much pain from zero to ten? Do you feel it's a constant pain, or the pain that's happening when you do movement? The constant pain is probably anywhere about a five. Mm -hmm. If I start to move, like with range of motion, if I go to like scratch the back of my ear, now it's probably about a seven, a burning sensation. When you're doing this, you're yes. limited a little bit. Yeah, it, I, I can feel a lot of pain. Seven, okay. This way, mm -hmm. um, pushing down at the fingertips. Or mm -hmm. pulling something heavy, it'll mm -hmm. get to a ten really fast. Okay, and it's uh, uh, both of them are the same. Yes. Pain. Okay. So uh, do you say like wh when you grip something, you can feel pain? Can you do that on a uh, doorknob? Yeah. I mean, it's it's not too bad because it's not that heavy. But if mm -hmm. there's a lot of resistance, mm -hmm. it's going to hurt. It's like more. seven constant. Yes. Okay. So everything should be pain free. Which one do you want to start first? <laughs> left, I guess. Oh, left. Okay. So your pain is is right in yes. here. Right in here. Is it radiated down to your uh, forearm? Not really. It's pretty localized. Okay. So you have a golfer elbow. So just push my hand down. Is that painful? You're yeah. very weak. <laughs> that weird. hurts. How much from zero to ten? That's that's a ten. Okay. Sure. Now we don't have to test on anything else. It's just. Push, push. Yeah, you have more strength here, but yeah. his his strength is really yeah. that's that this side is very weak. Yeah. So it's worse in here. Yes. Okay. All right. Make sure what I'm doing is not painful, and that's from the dog. Yeah. <laughs> but in this side, I feel a lot of scar tissue here. Yeah. In this area. Yeah. In this side. But you don't remember like an event to that time? No, this didn't happen yeah. from, from a one-time incident. It just over, he was doing a lot of different things yeah. that causing that. Okay. Okay. Is that painful? Yes, it's when I push you. What do you do this? That actually feels good. I mean, it feels tight, but it feels. You feel the scar It actually feels here. pretty good when you're actually digging into it. Do you feel my hand is rolling over like a yeah. lot here? That is a scar tissue. So you said you get the massage, 
that tennis ball or something? Like yeah, like a lacrosse oh, ball. Yeah. Yeah. Even a cosmetic scar tissue. That was what I was worried about. Like I never yeah. knew how much to do, yeah. so I would yeah. do it. Like right after I got done lifting weights, I would do it for a few minutes and, and then... Think about this way. If you have a cut and inflammation, do you keep rubbing it? No. You're going to have to move more. And especially with something hard like this, yeah. you're going to make it inflamed more. So I don't really recommend like any foam roller hard or hard ball or something like that. I will try to avoid that. Okay. We can do stuff for inflammation that's um, different. But just want to make sure to break all this scar tissue. Believe it or not, I feel more pain here. Yeah. When did you have this? This is two and a half, maybe three, two and a half weeks ago. Is yeah. your body slow to heal or it's okay? No, it's usually pretty quick. But that was a full bite, that was a full puncture. The tooth went all the way in, so... Yeah. Man, I don't know how you do that. <laughs> it didn't feel it's good. Amazing. Oh my goodness. Accidents happen. Yeah, I know. You feel those bump here? Yes. Feel that? That's a scar tissue. <laughs> and this big one here. If you don't have a scar tissue, it should feel like... Yeah. Mm, it's a little bit here, <laughs> but... Um, That's exactly why he takes all the bites, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not surprised that it's full of scars. So is that painful or it's okay? No, it actually feels good. Let's uh, pull this out. Look yeah. at this. You yeah. see? Stuck. That's crazy. There you go. You <laughs> see that? Okay. Do you want to feel it or are you okay? That's painful. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I so can imagine. <laughs> it's painful to watch. <laughs> it's smiling. <Yeah. laughs> but make sure it's not painful because yeah. I I don't want to cause more inflammation if it's right. inflamed. You see how nice and smooth here? Yeah. Very. And here, yeah, this is a big knot. Yeah. Why this could affect the other side? Because when you have agonist antagonist muscles, so if the agonist contract, the antagonist relax. Uh, but you need to have the antagonist fully full range of motion for the agonist to really yeah. uh, have a more better contraction. So that's why I want to make sure to work on this. And I'm going to actually turn it over to here. It will have you turn it over because I want to get to that spot, okay, in here. Make sure you don't feel pain here, okay? Okay. How's that? Is that the spot? Yeah, that's the spot. Is that painful? No, I like actually okay. kind of like I said, it feels good. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, most of your scar tissue is um, your antagonist. An antagonist. Hmm. It's, Ooh, that was tender. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, you're yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Feel that. yeah. You hear that? Gravel. Yeah, it feel, it feel like that or washboard or something yeah. like that. Well, that's a lot of scar tissue because your your muscle should act like a rubber band when you contract and relax and stretch like this. When you have a scar tissue, it's like you have a knot in a rubber band. Yeah. So when your muscle contract, yeah. it does not stretch much. Too much, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. You hear that? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna give you some water and I want you to tell me because you were saying you have a constant pain. Right. So I want you to drink some water. And tell me how this feels. May I have a question? Sure. You told him that if he stretches on the ball and everything, that causes more inflammation. How is this different from it? Because I do it pain free. Oh. <laughs> because I do it pain free and I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You know, and the material. It's uh, so if it's painful, I'm I'm causing more inflammation. That's mm -hmm. one why I want to make sure that the treatment is pain free. Mm -hmm. okay. You know. Uh, and I'm actually, like with the ball, it's hard to, f 
work yeah. it uh, on the right spot it's not gonna yeah. go deep mm -hmm. and the material that's why I invented those tools because uh, I had I, I went to over like over a hundred prototype to really mm. get the best design to break the scar tissue without causing a lot of other issues so it wow. took me a while uh, so it's hard to do it with the ball that when you compare ball to this yeah different but as long as it's not painful we're not causing inflammation mm -hmm. great question uh, constant pain your filter is gone it's actually gone right now the constant pain yeah so <clears throat> it was painful and weak when you push me down yeah. go ahead how's yeah, that that's that's that's, that's, that's down to about a three he's, in pain. he's actually pushing down yeah. before he was like basically doing yeah like that's this crazy. now so three where uh still kind of it actually feels like right back here, just in but the it spot. went from a 10 to a 3. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> uh, no pit, no seizures or anything. No. So, I worked on a proliferation stage. Now, because you have a mild, mild inflammation, I'm just going to use the Magna Heal. Okay. If it's mild inflammation, it's just going to take a few minutes with the magnet to decrease the inflammation. So we're going to know how severe is your inflammation by using the magnet. That's why I don't use it initially, because right. if I use it initially, it just, we don't know if you're stuck in a proliferation or you're going back and forth between inflammation and proliferation. Mm -hmm. So this is to just for differential diagnosis. Mm. Okay. This is different than your uh, refrigerator magnet. Yeah. <laughs> So it's just pinpointed that spot, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How is magnet helping inflammation? So, um, when uh, just basic science, cells use electromagnetic currents to communicate. Uh -huh. Okay. When they measure measure the voltage in the cells, normal cells voltage runs between 25, 20 to twenty five milli voltage. Mm -hmm. And the uh, inflamed diseased cell, the voltage went down to 5 to 10 millivoltage. Oh. So think about this way. Your car, not, not your car, your phone, runs on 5, 10% of your battery. You're barely making phone calls. You're not able to use any apps. Yeah. The same thing in the cell. If you are on 5% of your charge, yeah. you, you're stuck mm. in the inflammation. Mm you're not going to move to proliferation or maturation in the healing cycle. So the magnet is... It's increasing the charge because cells <coughs> use mm -hmm. electric magnetic currency. Mm -hmm. So this is very high, high intensity. This is very strong magnet, not like your refrigerator magnet. Mm -hmm. This is... Uh, yeah. And you have to be like, know what you're doing because uh, if, if I get this closer to cell phone, that will damage it. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's very strong, so yeah, it's basically increased. And we did experiment with uh, measuring the temperature, and we found the temperature change when we use the magnet. Oh. Um, so the the length of this because it's very strong magnet, it's two inch to two inch and a half deep. Okay. So when I use both of them, we actually penetrated four to five inches so goes in the through. body. Hmm. Yeah. If it's a like, if it's not strong magnet, you really you, you, you don't have like the magnetic field range is, is not gonna get there. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And I also coat it with anti-inflammatory coating, mm -hmm. just to get the best of the coating and the magnet. Mm -hmm. And this is what I give to my professional athletes. Who like work out every day like crazy because they don't have time to recover mm. you know Keep I have them outside. take it like this so, and their bag everywhere they go after the game and instead of using ice which does not work or massage or any lotion you just take it off and wrap it mm. whatever or before the game you just doing like this or just so he can't take it easy, you know. Like on his work days, he starts a workout, then mm -hmm. he does jiu jitsu, and then he trains the dog. Yeah, which so is too you much probably stress. like even something like this, you can just wrap it around, you know. 
and that's a speed up. I, my personal experience with it, I was moving furniture here in this office and I strained my biceps and I was like, I did not have time even to do this. And I had to go back and forth to get more equipment. So what I did, I just put it for a couple of hours while I'm driving and I was like, when I came back and I was like, oh wow, I'm able to move it. But I didn't have- the car. <laughs> It works very fast as long as there is no deficiency in nutrition or anything mm -hmm. else. So that's why like part of the evaluation, to do that in the video, I go over the nutrition, make, make sure you are on anti-inflammatory diet. Because if your, 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 your food is inflammatory and you have deficiency in vitamins and minerals, the magnet needs those vitamins and minerals to, to help your body to work. But if you have deficiency, we have to really meet that deficiency. So let's drink more water. How is the opening? And uh, yeah, that doesn't hurt. The no. feel difference between those two? Yeah, we yeah. we did not work on the other yeah. side. So let's compare. Yeah. How's that? And <laughs> yeah, that's one. Like you can see, like it's still like to have to that's push it straight and it hurts. That. Yeah, this one, like I can go automatically straight right straight. off the bat. Okay. So no constant pain now, yeah? No. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So the second time when we test, initially it was 7 out of 10, yeah. constant, now he does not have pain. And the pain was increasing to 10 when he pushed down. The second time decreased to 3, what about now? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it just feels a little bit, so maybe a, maybe a 1. It just feels a little bit tender, but like, before it felt like somebody was stabbing me with a knife right now. Oh. Now, like I could, he's he's I pushing could down. Yeah. He's really he's, it doesn't he's hurt. Strong. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, can you tell the difference between them? Uh, absolutely. Right now, yeah. Okay. So we'll have you actually uh, turn the face sure. of me. So it's in the same exact spot. Yeah. Right. So how much constant pain here? Probably about a seven. Okay. Like so let's let's push down and tell me how much is now. That's like a tip. That's a cup. Look at this. This is what he's doing here. Yeah. Look at how much the strength here. Yeah. He's pushing. Look. Yeah. Look here. Yeah, that it just like tapping. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. So it's a right in the spot. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna do the same thing to see if it's purely proliferation here or you're going back between proliferation and inflammation. Is that too much here? You can see the knot here, look at this, rolling over. Is that painful? It's okay. That's good. Okay. You see how deep this is going? Yeah. Uh, it's hard to go deep with the tennis ball. Yeah, exactly. That's why I designed this with like really pointy like this. And I measure it with some patient. Actually, we can go deep two inches deep and three inches. Like it depends on how deep is the muscle, but uh, this really can go deep. If you don't go deep with your tightness deep, how do you release it? Yeah, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. You know. So because it's scar tissue, fascia restrictions, you have to have mechanical force. If you don't have mechanical force, there's. Um, you will not be able to release it. It's like adhesion, you know, things stuck together. You need to get there to, and to break it. Is that too much? Okay. You don't have to hold it. You hear that? And you will see the map of the scar tissue here, where he has redness. Look at this. And you can hear that. They start to loosen up. Yeah. Feel that? No, it starts to loosen up. It, <laughs> yeah, compared to it initially. <laughs> oh, that's a horrible yeah. sound. But the good news is actually with this tool, 
you cannot hear that or feel that with the tennis ball. No. Yeah. No. So uh, uh, the good news is you can hear the sound, you can feel the grinding. So when it's released, you can s feel the difference. So this way, you know, yeah, I get it. Or you still have some scar mm. tissue, you know. That's part of the design. So it's right in here, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Most of his scar tissue actually on the antagonist. Yeah. You know? So it's... Uh, so your pain compensation for the tightness on the opposite side. Yeah. You know, because you have limited range of motion, so you keep pushing on that bone. So let's drink some more, and I um, want you to let me know the constant pain that was seven, how much is now, and yeah, probably like a, yeah, three or four. So that constant pain? Oh no, sorry, the, like just sitting here mm -hmm. doesn't hurt at all right now. So the constant yeah. pain is gone. Yeah. What about when you move it? Like I said, I'd go all the way out. You see? Yeah. Can you see the range of motion now? That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. See that? That's yeah. beautiful. That's a full range of motion. Yeah. You could not do that. Yeah. Okay. So now it's a three when you do that? Yeah. Coming this way, it's probably about a three. It's like right here. Right in that area. Okay. So you, you might have a myelin inflammation here. Let me do the magnesium here. Just relax. No, it's, it's right on the same spot, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Let's lift your arm up, sorry. Right here. But nothing radiated to your no. forearm here. Yeah. Okay, let's drink some water and try it again. How is the opening now? Yeah, it doesn't hurt. These twisting motions. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. So let's move it around and tell me how does that feel? How's that? Any pain or it's gone? It's gone. Okay. So let's do the resistance. How's that? Yeah, I mean it's it feels tender, like the, it's not a sharp pain anymore, it just feels a little tender. tender. Mm -hmm. Tender. Relax, relax. On the exact same spot, yeah? Okay. Okay, drink more water and tell me how that feels. Exercise? No, not at all. <laughs> all right. Any pain or everything is okay? Everything feels good. All right. You can turn around and tell me what you think about Astro treatment. <laughs> uh, it's great. I mean, for six months mm -hmm. I've been trying everything. Like I say, I even tried the cortisone shots, and I know mm -hmm. it comes with a lot of risks. Obviously, mm -hmm. this doesn't, um, mm -hmm. which is kind of the main reason mm -hmm. uh, when I found it, I knew I had to try it. Mm -hmm. um, I saw a video of you mm -hmm. doing this exact same thing on somebody else. I knew immediately. I, I was, I wanted to try it and then mm -hmm. I googled you further and then was very excited to find out that you were actually local to me. I was yeah. expecting you to be somewhere across the country. Yeah. So uh, I I called and immediately got an appointment yeah. when I saw these videos. Yeah. So awesome. I, I don't know where else I would really go to get this kind of treatment. Everywhere mm -hmm. else I went to uh, was just cortisone shots and giving me a bunch of pills and mm -hmm. to, to deal with the pain, yeah. which, you know, Continue down that road. Is, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna mask it and hurt myself further. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's yeah. that's why yeah. I wanted to come here and try this. Yeah, yeah. So. I'm glad you're feeling better. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Feel free to subscribe to my channel to get helpful tips on how to relieve pain and watch real treatment videos. There are over 45 studies that support Aster treatment model. If you are a patient and would like to schedule an appointment or treat yourself at home, check the link below. If you are a healthcare provider and would like to receive Aster training and buy Aster an instrument, check the link below. See you soon.